The CBC is nervous about press coverage of its bad behavior, but instead of fixing the problem, they're lashing out tonight on The Source. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation is used to criticizing others, often quite viciously. But it sure doesn't react well when it's the mega corporation being scrutinized. Today, their president, Hubert Lacroix, lashed out at critics who were asking basic accountability questions about the CBC. To Lacroix, having to answer for his own mismanagement, his own company's luxurious perks and wasteful spending isn't acceptable. He doesn't see questions about taxpayers' money as an important way of assuring accountability for a government agency or public interest transparency. In his little conspiracy theory, Questions about waste of taxpayers' money and corporate secrecy are all an attempt to, and I'm quoting him here, weaken the CBC. He says it's just a scheme cooked up by his competitors, and he mentions us here at The Sun specifically. So, in, so reigning in wasteful spending is weakening the CBC? So having a culture of openness and accountability is weakening the CBC? Is he really saying that being corrupt and wasteful is a sign of strength? That if the CBC isn't allowed to hide, oh, I don't know, their liquor budget, their limousine budget, it's not going to be a good broadcaster? That kind of secrecy wouldn't fly in a company where shareholders demand accountability. It doesn't fly in government where taxpayers demand accountability. So why does LaCroix think the CBC shouldn't have to be accountable to anyone? The CBC likes to ask questions about other corporations. They hate banks and oil companies. They love teeing off on Wall Street excesses, but they don't want the same scrutiny for their own corporate mismanagement. The CBC likes to file access to information requests against the conservative government, and that's their right. They lash the government if their responses are slow or incomplete, but the CBC itself is also subject to access to information laws. And according to Canada's nonpartisan information commissioner, Suzanne Legault, the CBC gets a score of F in her 2009-2010 report card. Can you imagine if Stephen Harper received an F for accountability, an F for answering access to information requests? The CBC would make it their top story for a week. Corruption! But when the CBC gets an F for access to information by a neutral commissioner, it's all some sort of plot to weaken the CBC. <laughs> Look, Hubert Lacroix clearly disrespects the idea of openness. He also disrespects the law. He has refused to comply with court rulings demanding that he turn over his expense reports. He's spending millions of dollars fighting against accountability. Millions of tax dollars, of course. He's even appealed all the way to the Federal Court of Appeals, which will hear the matter later this month. Here's a video of Lacroix telling Parliament, the people who shovel all that tax money to him, that he's not going to answer any of their questions about his expenses. He won't do it until a court orders him to do so. Look at this. We believe that only a judge should have the right to demand the disclosure of information that relates to our creative activities or is journalistic or program related. Apparently, expense accounts are journalistically related. i got to remember that one for next time. Hey, now, stories of CBC wastefulness aren't new. I mean, remember their million-dollar film festival party that they threw because CBC host George Strombolopoulos wanted to hang out with, quote, the cool people like U2's Bono? I mean, but what's new is how the CBC is fighting back. As I just mentioned, they're, they're in denial. I mean, they don't think they have a problem with waste or corruption or luxury or secrecy. They don't think they're doing anything wrong. They think the problem is with the people who are asking them questions, whether it's MPs or other media. But look at what's new here. Lacroix is pulling in favors from media, out, media outlets that depend on the CBC for money. He's getting other journalists to shill for him, other media who make money from the CBC. Here's what I mean. Lacroix refuses to come on the Sun News Network. I, I even asked him on the show this morning. I've asked him on half a dozen times before. He always refuses, and he gives no reason. I mean, we know what the reason is. He hates answering tough questions. He won't answer questions unless a judge orders him to. Remember that he just said that? But even then, he appeals to a higher judge. I mean, he's avoiding the questions. But for today's story, 
he spoke to a reporter named Jennifer Dishpern. She works for the Canadian press. She's the one who lovingly reported Lacroix's conspiracy theory about how these questions are bad. Well, now, why would Jennifer Dishpern of the Canadian press, an independent private news agency, give such a friendly forum to the CBC, their government-owned competitor? Well, the answer is simple. The CBC is also the Canadian press's biggest customer. The Canadian press sells its stories to newspapers around the country, like the Toronto Star. Well, the CBC buys millions of dollars worth of those stories from the Canadian press. So it would be financially dangerous for the Canadian press company to ask tough questions of their best customer. And even the reporters for the Canadian press, like Jennifer Dishburn, well, she has a conflict of interest too. Look at this. Nominally, she doesn't work for the CBC. She works for the Canadian press, but the CBC regularly pays her to come on CBC panels. You can see this right now. Not only does that supplement her CP income, but it gives her a big media profile. I mean, here's, here she's yucking it up on the CBC day after day after day. I mean, put aside financial reasons, even for social reasons, Jennifer Dishburn would never be tough on the CBC. I mean, do you really think Jennifer Dishburn would ever ask tough questions about the CBC spending when she herself is a beneficiary of CBC spending? Same thing with the Toronto Star. Same thing with the Globe and Mail, which is a co-owner of the Canadian press. So both of those companies get a lot of that $1.1 billion in tax money slopped over to them from Parliament. It makes these other companies pull their punches because the CBC's doling it out. Even the Conservative-leading National Post has been bought off. It's true, I hate to say it. I used to work there. In 2009, the CBC signed a big commercial agreement with the National Post to share editorial content and even to sell ads for each other. Do you really think it was a coincidence that the National Post has now stopped their regular series that used to be called CBC Watch? And again, why would you criticize your business partner and risk millions of dollars being lost? And even Canada's largest private broadcaster, who you'd think would be a critic of the CBC, has been bought off too. CTV has now teamed up with the CBC to make a joint broadcasting bid for the next Olympics. So in Canada, the Star, the Globe, the Post, CTV and Canadian Press are all taking money from the CBC. I call it hush money because it pretty much guarantees that no other media will ask the tough questions of the CBC, questions that need to be asked of the CBC because it is a government agency that gorges on tax money. You know, maybe Hubert Lacroix really believes that what he's doing is fine. I mean, it could be because no one from the Canadian press or CTV or any of his other business partners has ever told him what he's doing is wrong. I mean, they all write puff pieces like today's item by Jennifer Ditchburn in the Canadian press. Maybe Hubert Lacroix really believes his own PR. Maybe he's just never actually heard criticism before. Or maybe he's never actually been held to account and he doesn't know how to handle it. So he, he's in denial. Well, the Sun News Network hasn't been bought off by the CBC. Neither of our newspapers, the, the Sun chain of papers across this country, we don't ask questions about the CBC's mismanagement and waste for malicious, malicious reasons. We ask because it's our right and our duty as taxpayers. And anyone who would tell us to shut up about it is disrespecting taxpayers. If you scratch a little deeper, whoever tells you not to ask questions about the CBC, well, they probably have a fat contract with the same CBC they're trying to protect, too.